قل ان كانت لكم الدار الاخره عند الله خالصه من دون الناس فتمنوا الموت ان كنتم صادقين say to them o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam if you really think that the house of the hereafter is reserved for you leaving other for others others of humanity they said we are the exclusive you know we hold exclusive rights over paradise over jannah just as we think today we are the exclusive you know right holders and each one of each one of us thinks that he has a reserved seat in jannah because he is a muslim because by mere accident of birth he was born to muslim parents that's all and such a big difference will happen for the eternal life that because due to the accident of birth some was born hindu some was born christian they must go to the hell permanently and because we were born muslim it, it was not none of our choice none of our you know Uh, some exertion in it, nothing of the sort, no sacrifice. But we claim to be to having the exclusive proprietary rights. Or in kaanat lakum mudarul akhirat o inda Allah khalisatam min duri nas. If you really believe so, then you should long for death, not for this life. If somebody really thinks, if somebody really is convinced. that he has a place in paradise will he like to live in this world for even a single day it's simple logic if he is convinced qul in kanat lakum ad-darul akhirah inda Allah khalisatan min duni nar fatamannu al-maut in kuntum sadiqin if you are really truthful if you really believe in it then you should long for death wa la yatamannahu abadan This is the comment from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and they are never going to long for death. Wallahi yatamal nahu abadam bima qadmat adihim. Due to the deeds that their both hands have sent forward before them, they know what are our kartuts, what we have done, what our both hands have earned up till now, what we have deposited in the bank of the hereafter. We know it. so actually none of them none of us and none of them none of them wanted to go there and none of us wants to go there because we know what we have sent before us wala yatamallahu abadan bima qaddamat aydihim wallahu alimun bil zalimin and allah very well knows these evil doers these unjust people wala tajidannahum ahrasan nasi ala haya and you will find them definitely surely the greediest people for this life from the nazina ashraku even more greedy than these people the idolaters the pagan arabs yawaddu ahaduhum law yu'mar al fasana each one of them longs and wishes to be living in this world for a thousand years wa ma huwa bi muzahjihi min al azab an yu'mar although even if someone someone's life here is very long and he is granted a very long life here this cannot save him from the fire of hell if his deeds are bad he will go there even if he dies after 1000 years where will he go he will go to the hell so it's no escape it's no saving wallahu basiru bima ya'malun and allah is seeing what they are doing قل من كان عدو لجبريل فإنه نزله على قلبك. Now as we have seen, although they recognized Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, they knew that Quran is true. They only disbelieved because Muhammad was not a Jew sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He was not from amongst them, and they were angry. Why Allah subhanahu wa taala has snatched from us this institution of prophethood? it had been with us this grace of allah this blessing of allah it was with us for at least 1400 years why has it been snatched from us now the same due to the same reason they were angry with jibril alaihi salatu wassalam because he brought the wahi to muhammad sallallahu alaihi he is our enemy actually 
Now they became the enemies of Jibreel. Just as you know, there has been a small section of Ahl Tashayyo who are called Ghurabiya. They have the belief. Hazrat Mujaddid al Fasani has mentioned them in his Makatib, in his letters. They believe that actually prophethood was aimed for Hazrat Ali, not for Muhammad. Jibreel by mistake took the wahi to Hazrat Muhammad. It was by mistake only. Because the spirits and souls of Ali and Muhammad were very similar. Therefore, he just was mistaken. He couldn't recognize. Actually, the wahi was meant for Ali radiallahu ta'ala an, and mistakenly Jibreel took it to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But for, till this, that is their belief. The same was the case with the Jews. They thought that it is actually the, the action of Jibreel, the decision of Jibreel, that he took that wahi that was meant for some one of us to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from the progeny of Ismail. Tell them, O Muhammad, whosoever is an enemy to Jibreel, he must know that he has sent down, brought down this wahi to your heart, O Muhammad, with the permission and command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not in his own. And this has been sent down, confirming that which is present with them before it, that is Torah and Injil, wa hudam wa bushra al mu'mineen, and it is the guidance and it is the glad tidings for the all the mu'mineen, for all who believe. Man ka na adu wallillahi wa malaikatihi, whosoever is an enemy to Allah and his angels, wa rusulihi and his messengers and prophets, wa jibreel wa mikaala. And Jibreel and Mikail, find Allah Adubul Kafirin. He should know that Allah is enemy to all such disbelievers. They are actually challenging Allah. They are getting the enmity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in reward. And we have sent down to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, these clear ayat. And nobody except the transgressors or rebellious in nature will disbelieve these ayat. These are so clear and so very self-evident that only those who are rebellious in nature, they will only dis disbelieve them. Is it not that whenever they ratify the treaty, ratify the covenant, Nabadahu Farikum Minhum, a group from them, a part from them, they throw, threw it away, threw it aside. Balak Sarahum La Yuminun. But most of them don't believe actually. They are in the community of Bani Israel, they are a race. It's a racial religion. All people who belong to that race think that they are Jews, they are Mormons. While ever only a few of them are real Mormons. Most of them, the great majority of them, don't have that faith. The same case is with us today. Out of the billion, more than a billion Muslims, how many have real faith, real conviction, real belief in Allah and the hereafter and the day of judgment and the institution of Wahi? How many of us? So that is that was the case of the former Ummah. Al Aksarahum la yumenun.